here on YouTube, eye creams have gotten a really bad rap lately and I'm kind of tired of hearing it. So I wanted to push back on that a little bit. Eye creams are generally made for the eye area. And many times if we use a regular old cream for our face in our eye area, if you're like me and have sensitive eyes, those eyes will just blow up overnight. <laughs> so if you're tired of listening to people say, eye creams are a waste of money, stay tuned because I've got the real scoop. Hi all, Christine Beyer here, licensed master esthetician for 20 years. And when I look at an eye cream, I see it very differently. I want to make sure that, you know, it's funny too, because a lot of these people saying that eye creams are a waste of time, they don't have any eye wrinkles. <laughs> or they're too young, <laughs> don't quite have them yet. So wait till they get in their 50s. They'll be using eye creams. I bet they use eye creams behind the scenes. So what I love about the eye creams that I use is that they don't irritate my eyes. And I love being able to put something right over my lids because as you get older, you don't have wrinkles just here. They start to happen up here. They happen in all these wonderful places that you didn't think you'd get wrinkles when you were 20, right? So I like something I can just slather over the entire eye area and know that I'm not going to wake up looking like I'm crazy and inflamed and red and itchy eyes. I will be fine. So one of the eye serums that I know I can do this with, and it is my go-to and I love it, is the Neogenesis Eye Serum. This is 10% of the stem cell releasing molecules from adult human skin stem cell donors from the largest skin cell donor bank in the United States. It is Vatican approved and they've checked everything out and it is legit. So I will take this and I will put it directly over both of my eyes. And it's an interesting little container because it clicks, right? You get it in this locks and unlocks the device so you can travel with it and not worry about it. So it unclicks here and then you're going to take it and push this little guy and you'll get your eye serum. And that's about enough for both eyes. And it will be the first thing you put on after your recovery if you're using Neogenesis. I have eye makeup on, what the hell? <laughs> this won't be getting through. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about a certain urea eye cream, which is great. I love eye creams that really saturate and really fill in the lines and make the, the whole eye area look better because they're just so saturating. But I have to tell you, a urea eye cream is going to hydrate and that's about it. And so you're going to use it and use it and use it. And when it's not on, you're not going to see much of a difference. You're not going to see less wrinkles. You're not really going to see the, the extra tissue on your lids start to shrink up. None of that's going to happen with a urea based eye cream because it just doesn't have the power in it to rejuvenate the area. You need to be looking for peptides and stem cells, stem cell releasing molecules. And so when I first started using this, I used this first and I went in with my ultra thick and creamy hydrating eye cream that I was used to. I mean, some people just like that shellacquered feeling. While that shellacquered feeling is great, it just reminds me of being, I think I was like 17 or 18. And I was working as a secret shopper and the madame of the business, the wife of the, the guy who owned it, she would wear this eye cream that was completely visible like all day long. And so she wouldn't have a stitch of makeup on, but she'd have this big circle of like glassy looking eye cream. It looked like she just put Vaseline, but not in a good way on her eyes. And I just thought she looked nuts and she still had a ton of wrinkles. It's just weird. And so while I still like a shellacquering eye cream, I don't want it to be like that obvious. <laughs> and thank goodness skincare science has progressed because 
those types of creams don't really exist anymore that I've seen. Or maybe they could, I don't know. But if, if you've got one, no, we can see it. <laughs> so eye creams are valuable. Dr. Greg, the developer of the stem cell science and, and neogenesis, he has a background in ophthalmology too. So he has these really gentle giant products and that's why I love using this because I can put it right over those lids. And the lids age too. We need eye serum, eye cream there. So that this is more of a serum and it's very light. And like I said, you can go in and put your shellac ring eye cream over that. You could put the urea over that if you wanted to, urea. <laughs> and, and that's fine. But let it absorb a little bit and then you could put that on. After a while, you find you may not need it as much. But yeah, I just wanted to let people know that even though it looks better, it's not doing anything for the health of the cells. It's not doing anything for that turnover rate. It's not doing anything to lend a helping hand to the cells that are old, that need to be repaired or replaced. It's not doing any of that. Whereas stem cell releasing science, stem cell releasing molecules, it has everything it needs delivered in a way that the skin understands, recognizes, and uses immediately. And urea, I know it's part of the skin structure, but it's just not all of it. And sometimes you need all of it to get the repair work done around the eyes. Yeah, so make sure you've got some power underneath that hydration. Otherwise, it's just not going to do much. All right, thanks for watching. Bye now.